What's up, everyone? Today, Chef Daddy Lao is going to teach us his delicious taro cake recipe. It's a classic Sunday dim sum favorite, and also commonly made around Chinese holidays. Every time Chinese New Year or the Mid Autumn Festival rolls around, my dad always makes huge batches of taro cake for our family. Taro cake is pronounced wu tao go in Cantonese. The words for cake and hai share the same pronunciation, go, which is why taro cake and other cake dishes are good luck charms for higher growth and prosperity in Chinese tradition. Teaching us how to make taro cake will be my dad, who's been cooking Chinese food for over 50 years, and who also happens to be playing the flute that you're listening to right now. Be sure to stay tuned at the end to eat with my family and to learn more about the dish. Check out our blog post for a printable, adjustable list of ingredients, as well as step by step videos and instructions on how to make this dish. Hope you guys enjoy! Hello, I'm going to show you a little bit of 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 a Gang,就比小小姜得了。腊肠呢,我哋烧一头,切小小片一片片嘅先剥嘅。我等一阵会摆上去嘅面嘅。嗯,都系好睇啲。其他呢,我哋我嚟切粒啦。啊,咁咪
It's really important to choose the right type of rice flour. In Asian grocery markets, they usually sell two kinds, regular rice flour and a gluttonous or sticky rice flour, which is commonly used to make boba balls, mochi, and many other Asian desserts and recipes. For this recipe, we should be using regular rice flour, which leads to a taro cake with a perfect firmness and chewiness. Weigh out half a pound of rice flour in a bowl and add 1.5 cups of water. Mix the water and flour for about 30 seconds. If you don't have a food scale, you can roughly use 1 and 7 eighths cups of flour. Weighing is the most accurate method, so I've included a link to our food scale on Amazon, as well as regular rice flour if you don't live near an Asian supermarket. Now we'll begin cooking our garlic, ginger, shrimp, and lop chung, stirring constantly for about 2 minutes in total before adding the taro. Add the garlic and ginger and cook for about 20 seconds. Then add the rehydrated shrimp and cook for about 40 to 50 seconds. Finally, add the lop chung and cook for another 45 to 60 seconds. Before we add more flavors, we'll be cooking and stirring the taro around for about one minute. We'll also start boiling about five cups of water, which we'll be using in a few minutes. Cook the taro for about another minute. Next, we'll pour one and a half cups of boiling water into the wok. Stir the taro around the wok for a few seconds and cover the wok until it starts boiling again. For us, this took about two to three minutes. Go 好了,這份醬已經炒好了 再給一些滾煲滾的水上去,它會呢,我們不需要那麼多時間了,對吧? 所以我要蒸多個3分鐘,最多25分鐘就完了,就連連熟了。
。你想知道呢個膏熟唔熟？俾筷子篤下佢。如果唔熟咧，佢會黐住曬好多喺度。而家呢個膏就知道佢係熟噶啦。Next, we'll add some green onion for garnish. At this point, we're done cooking, but we need to let the taro cake cool down and harden before we can cut into it and start eating. All you need to do is just leave the taro cake out until it reaches room temperature, and it will be ready to eat. It's best to let it cool naturally, but if you're in a rush, you can place the plate on a bed of ice to speed up the cooling. If you want to make it even more tasty, after it's cooled, cut the taro cake into slices and pan fry them in oil for three to five minutes on each side for some golden, crispy deliciousness. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
，好似我哋嗰個冇靚好平啊，係咪 ？Sometimes they they put the sauce for too long.、Mm -hmm. The outside the skin look really dry. You can see、yeah. it's more like a little bit moist.、Mm -hmm. But it shouldn't、dry. be soft. No, no hard.、Mm -hmm. 我哋呢個咧喺餐餐廳就會新鮮啲，睇到佢新鮮啲，佢咁嘅皮都睇皮靚啲。Yeah, you can look at the skin is more, it's more color. You you can compare it. It's too old. It's really dry. Look very dry. I can eat taro just like a clean the taro, cut in big piece, steam it without any flavor. I can eat like that. So lunch time. Breakfast. I just take a one piece out from the refrigerator、mm -hmm. and eat it. <laughs> it's so easy. It's like Asian potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> What's the taste? I for personal, I like better than potato. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, better than potato.、Mm -hmm. So、um, that's more flavor. Hi, hi, dear fan. Nice to talk to all the fan again on in the video. Today we have a tallow cake. Our Ken Cam grandson, three months old. Enjoy our video. Thank you so much, all the fans, everyone in the world, to watching our video. Hopefully, all the fans will make good tallow cake. Okay, thumbs up for our video. Subscribe our channel and Ken Cam. See you to all the dear fans. See you next time. Bye bye. Say bye bye. For you. Bye bye bye. For you. Now we can make taro at home, huh? Now Daddy's gonna make taro for us. Thank you, Daddy. We're so happy you make taro for us, huh?